Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the second installment of How I Make Money with My Drones. In this installment, we're going to be talking about a residential construction site that we've been working on for over a year. And you say to yourself, a residential construction site that's taken a year, Rich. Yes, some things came up on the project, and we're going to talk about them. Now, if you haven't already seen the first installment of How We Make Money with Our Drones here at AZ Drone, be sure to check back on the first installment as I explain this project a little bit more, not this particular project, but the overall series that we're doing on how we make money with drones. And it'd be good for you to see that beginning, that intro. So, like I said, this is number two, and we're going to dive right in. So this second installment is going to feature High Lonesome Drive. So this is, um, or High Lonesome Way, I should say. This is a project that we were introduced to back in 2021. We were working with a realtor and one of the builders that they work with, and they were starting to document this new high lonesome build for the folks who are going to be purchasing the house. So we were brought out June, July timeframe to take a look at this raw land site. So a brand new site to us um, for doing flights, but not an unknown site. We've been around here before doing other homes for the realtor and the builder as well. So we had a pretty good feel for the area. Now, normally when we get a new client, we go through a process of learning about their needs, what they want us to do for them, what they don't want us to do for them. Since we'd already been working with this builder and with this realtor, we knew exactly what they were looking for. So it cut down some of our conversation time. They were already familiar with our billing practices and they were already familiar with the types of flights that we would do for them. So this made things much more streamlined for us. Now, normally when you get a new client, you're going to want to ask a series of questions to that client to find out everything they want. You're gonna to need to do some planning in advance to block out the areas that you're gonna be flying to let yourself know where you should be flying, where you shouldn't be flying. We're gonna block out an ortho mosaic model as well because they wanted a two dimensional model. That was one of the offerings that we give to clients that they really appreciated in a new home build. So with all of that said, upfront was very easy. Now over on our classes.azdrone.net, we do have a video on our entire workflow. So if you're interested in our start to finish process, you might want to take a look at that video and the link is up above in the info card so you can go take a look at that one now that starts us off with the initial client contact all the way through to their deliverable so if you want to know about getting set up with a new client you might want to check that class series out since we were already familiar with these guys we knew what they were after we started in august of 2021 and we're going to get into why things ran into a problem also, just to let you know, we are looking at my See My Build website. This is where we're doing demo build layouts online, and we're also doing build layouts for some of our current clients that don't mind us using their stuff in our classes. So thanks to everybody for letting us use those. Now, that first flight, we went out. We had to get some things set up. We knew that they wanted to do a two-dimensional uh, ortho mosaic model for this one, and we had gone out. August of 2021 to document this site. And then, like I said, um, some things happened. So we did an initial layout just to give them a feel for the things that we'd be doing in our upcoming future flights for them, uh, including some video, not all video time lapse, just some unique videos here and there with some time lapse as well. There's that 2D model that they were looking for. So we have an August and November because after August, Things slowed down, and I'll tell you about that. But this was one of the most important parts that both the builder and the realtor were looking for, is that before and after the changes to the site over time. We also did a demo 360. We did some regular still images. We included a 3D model. We knew they weren't going to use the 3D model, but it's always nice to put that in a presentation just in case to remind people that they have other options with you. So. The first big thing, we knew the location, we knew the parcel, I didn't have a lot of searching to do. We did need to set up for those ortho mosaics, for those repeatable ortho mosaics. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm looking off screen here, we're gonna put screen mirroring up really quickly for you. And here comes our screen mirroring. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head on over to our drone folder and we have pulled up MapPilot Pro. 
So I did look up the parcel number for this location, and then I wanted to block out our flight area using Map Pilot Pro. So there it is. There's our uh, high lonesome location. I will zoom this out just a bit. This is a small location. This isn't a big one, so we're not doing a lot of images here. So really, we can quickly roll through this site over time whenever the realtor and builder ask us to. As you can see, the area is about one acre. The distance of my flight is a half a mile. Um, the pass speed was 4.7 miles per hour to keep the motion blur down. And, and we're looking at approximately 116 images according to MapPilot Pro. Now we've gotten the exports or the outputs from MapPilot Pro, and it actually comes to 110 images for every one of the flights that we've done here. So it's very consistent, and we know that our results are going to be consistent as well. So I wanted to show you this. So before we started into anything, we actually did do some smaller planning. Let's go ahead and close this, and let's go ahead and stop that screen mirroring as well. So we'll stop mirroring, and we'll get back to the main screen. So there we go. We're back onto that main presentation page. By the way, you are welcome to stop by seemybuild.com and look through any of the projects that we have up so that you can see some of our other projects and the progress we've made with them. So once we got the go ahead from the realtor and the builder, we started into our first flights. So August of 2021, we started getting where they were putting the initial pad down. So we captured that with video and we captured that with stills and finally with the ortho mosaic as well. And that ortho mosaic is the small one you see down here. So there is the August before they'd actually really cut anything down. And then here's November. So why did things stop between August and November? Well, quite simple, uh, not quite simple. The deal fell through. It didn't really fall through. Here's the deal. So this was a brand new build site. So someone actually had already put their deposits down. They were getting ready to have the new construction done. And then it came about that another home in the Talking Rock area closer to their family members had come available. So they decided to purchase the home that had become available closer to their relatives. It's a very simple thing. So, and this does happen in real estate sometimes. Of course, deposits and things are lost. But in the meantime, now we had a site which was getting prepped for build. Um, and so what happened was the builder and the realtor decided to do this as a spec home, a speculation home. So they had a little bit of work to do in advance before they could start into that. And so that slowed down the project measurably for us. So we literally sat on this one. We went by it regularly as we were documenting other homes and other new builds in the area. So we were always keeping a, a good eye on it. And this spring, things finally started hopping again. And we're just gonna arrow back on that CMI build. So we're just using this as our walkthrough here. So May 2nd of 2022 is when we got back in there again. And that is when they put the footings down before they actually poured the concrete. So things really started moving. As a matter of fact, this week after I record, after I've recorded this video for you, we are going out to do another flight for this particular property. So we'll update you on that later. But so in the case of this one, we've got our May 2nd, 2022. So just a standard photo here. This is all being displayed through a WordPress website, by the way. We do have our HD uh, video, so they can play it right here on screen. We're using a tool called Out of the Box, which can actually pull from my Dropbox account and actually do a nice display here. So we've got the flight there. We have a still image gallery. We didn't do a lot of images because we've collected a lot of the location over time. And of course, we did our before and after ortho mosaic. So May, uh, May of 2022 versus November of 2021, if you see this down on the screen and you see this one as well. Um, so let's take a look here. And so here's May when the footings were poured and everything was getting ready. And here we are way back in November. And between November and May, not a lot happened here. So by the way, this flight was executed with Map Pilot Pro, which we just showed you a few minutes ago. Since the, uh, since the planning was really simple for us and we were able to jump into this, we were also able to do these visits in a very timely fashion whenever the realtor or builder gets in touch with us. Once we get back to the office, the data is then exported to both Lightroom 
and to Kino. So Lightroom for organizing our still images. We don't use it to organize our ortho mosaic images, though. That's a lot of images just to make an ortho mosaic file. So they don't go into Lightroom. They go into their own folder that goes along with the project. But secondly, I just wanted to show again, I, I can't remind people enough that uh, if you're looking for a good photo or video management platform, you might want to check out Kino. I don't work for them. I don't have any coupon codes for them. It's just a software package that works very well for me when it comes to organizing these multiple flight locations that we do for a lot of our time-lapse progression clients. So as you see in here, we've got different videos and these are all from different dates and times. And right in here, High Lonesome. So one of our most recent flights that we did for the client, uh, we included some new tools and some of those new tools are motion trackers. So we're actually using uh, M Tracker 3D area now. And we're using several other motion trackers, like uh, here's one of the motion trackers right here. So it's a pop-out motion tracker. And we also can do this kind of uh, layout with the motion tracker 3D area. So I'm getting a little ahead of things, so let's dial it all back. So we come back from that location, we offload all of the data. And what are we normally presenting to the client? Let's go down to the latest one. And once again, this can be flexible. So the client could say, we want a video this time. We don't want a video the next time. We want an ortho this time. We don't want an ortho the next time. In the way that we're actually delivering things to people through this website interface, it's very easy. It's very flexible for us to change how the layouts are. But so one of our most recent flights and once again we're going back this week so we'll have some more to update on this project we have the hd video from august 6 2022 this is on a wordpress website and we can actually pull from our dropbox so we load these up to dropbox but then we make the nice presentation for the clients as well so they've got multiple ways to access things still image gallery we didn't do a lot of still images this go around we'll be doing more coming up um, as the project progresses but this was by request with the uh with the developer and the realtor as well and then we also put up two of our before and after orthos because they requested some more ortho time so we have june and august of 2022 and we have november and july so this is really interesting here so when we look down at august of 2022 let's do that so we can see the roofs going on and everything here when we slide it back just the concrete pour and no roofing yet and on the other one from november of 2021 let's take a look at that just the pad area and now to july of 2022 and you can see that they've got the concrete poured in there as well. So like I said, this is up to the client each time. They let us know when they say, head out there this week, and this is what we're looking for. So this upcoming week, we're going to be doing interior 360s of this property to show where all the conduits, where all the um, water in, water out, sewage, electrical, telecom, if they've got any telecom coming in, we'll be shooting all of that before they close up the walls. So they'll have a record of, hey, I know exactly where those power conduits are. I can go look at the 360 image and check them out. So this is a little different than our first one because the first session on how to make money with your drones, we talked about a project right from scratch. So where we had a new client. And in this case, in this particular session, session number two, we have a recurring client who knows what we do and who we don't have to ask as many questions of. We're familiar with the location. We're familiar with being able to get in and out of the location and um, you know, making sure that we're also safe on location. That's another big part of all of this. But so in this particular series, in this session two, we're doing multiple flights. Each flight we're charging the same or similar if there are additions or subtractions from what they need for this month. Um, we do change the billing. So this is all based on an hourly rate with this particular group because they do feed us a lot of um, construction progression and it's all residential. So we are documenting a lot of other houses in the area. And usually, if we can, we'll actually visit more than one site so that we're uh, giving a little more value to the client and not charging them for every single trip out. So there's that still gallery again. We also had a button for MLS 
And under the MLS folder for the client, they have more things that were MLS ready. So those are the types of little requests we get. So once again, we do have a project workflow at classes.azdrone.net that takes you through all of our discoveries, all of our planning, all of our flight execution, our post-processing, and finally delivery to the clients. And that is one other thing I should say right here since we're looking at the August 6th. So what did we have to do in post-processing for this client, this go round? Well, we had to make an HD video for them, a video that fit nicely together and also utilize some of the new tools and new trackers that we're using. We had to put together a still image gallery, so that means that we shot still images while we were on the site. Then we imported those images to Lightroom. We did minor edits on those images. Then we uploaded them to Dropbox, and then they were linked through uh, out of the box on our WordPress installation. And then finally, we had to collect all of those uh, two-dimensional orthomosaic images, combine them together using Web ODM, and then actually getting these images aligned in Photoshop. So taking a step back here once more, what did we use for our flights? Map Pilot Pro, Litchi, and the DJI Go 4 app. Okay, so that was all of our capture. Then we came back to the office and we offloaded everything. So for these before and after ortho mosaics, we're using WebODM now for both the before and the after on each of these. So we had to run the images through WebODM to generate our models, export the models, and then take each before and after into Photoshop and overlay the before and the after together to get them sized exactly right. Once we've done that in Photoshop, we export the two images in a similar sizing. So they're almost exactly together, but sometimes there's a little movement off the alignment. So we repair that in Photoshop. We export from Photoshop, we upload that to WordPress, and then we get all that set up for this page. So the software used Map Pilot Pro, Litchi, DJI Go 4 app. We get back into the office. We're using Lightroom. We're using Kino um, to track our still images and our video. We're utilizing Photoshop for part of this. And we're also utilizing Final Cut Pro for our video editing. And all of this is being done on a Mac Studio M1. So with all that said, you have now seen one of our residential construction progression sites and how we're displaying it to our clients. We've talked about the software use. We've talked about what we use to capture everything and then what we've been using to post-process afterward and to do a final delivery for the clients.